Clarity is designed to be the finest ADS-B receiver on the market. In this video, we will show you why sensitivity matters. We compared Clarity SV with Stratus second generation using its internal antenna and dual ADS-B receiver. We placed them on the glare shield of the aircraft, either a Cessna 182 or a Cirrus SR-22. To collect our data, we looked at the number of towers received as reported by the appropriate EFB app, either Wing X7 Pro or ForeFlight. We also recorded the GPS altitude and the location along the flight path from our iPads. Our flight path was between Hood River, Oregon and the Seattle area, either Auburn or Boeing Field. Our flight took us over the foothills of the Cascade Mountains, where ADS-B coverage at these altitudes is difficult at best. We used appropriate VFR cruising altitudes, either 7,500 or 8,500 feet MSL. Clarity SV first started receiving stations soon after takeoff and provided safe, continuous ADS-B coverage the entire flight. The other two ADS-B receivers performed differently, but neither one provided continuous coverage. Let's take a look at the results. For Flight 1, we recorded data from Clarity SV and Stratus second generation, both mounted on the glare shield of a Cessna 182. We flew from Hood River to Seattle at 8,500 feet. As we can see from the chart, flying left to right from Hood River to Seattle, we note from the blue line that Clarity SV picks up its first tower a few miles outside of Hood River and then provides continuous coverage thereafter. Stratus second generation picks up its first tower between 50 and 55 miles and then has continuous coverage into the Seattle area. For Flight 2, we flew from Seattle to Hood River in the Cessna 182 at 7,500 feet. On the chart, we're flying from right to left. And in Seattle, upon takeoff from Boeing Field, we show almost immediate reception of ADS-B towers, both on Clarity SV and Stratus 2. We can see from the Clarity SV blue line, we retain continuous coverage throughout the entire flight. Whereas Stratus 2, second generation, has large areas where it didn't receive any towers. For Flight 3, we flew the SR-22 at 8,500 feet. Clarity SV, shown by the blue line, picks up its first tower just a few miles outside of Hood River and maintains continuous coverage throughout the entire flight. Stratus second generation, shown by the red line, picks up its first tower just a few miles outside of Hood River and then maintains sporadic coverage until 25 to 30 miles and then no towers after that. Dual X GPS 170 is shown by the green line. It picks up its first tower a little over 10 miles outside of Hood River and then retains coverage except for a blanking interval between 45 and 50 miles. In Flight 4, we flew the SR-22 from Seattle to Hood River. On the chart, we're traveling from the right side to the left. And here you'll see that we take off from Auburn Airport about 10 miles south of Boeing Field. We can see that all three receivers pick up towers immediately after takeoff. Clarity SV, shown by the blue line, retains coverage for the entire flight. Stratus second generation, shown by the red line, has several areas where it does not receive any towers. Dual X GPS 170, shown by the green line, has continuous coverage except for a 10 mile interval mid-flight. What does this tell us? High performance matters. Clarity SV was the only ADS-B receiver we tested that provided continuous ADS-B coverage on flights between Hood River, Oregon and Seattle, Washington over the foothills of the Cascade Mountain Range. That's rugged terrain, and that's where I want performance as a pilot. Be safe with Clarity.